What's up guys, Frugal BC got a bunch of Algorand news today headlined by Algorand price going in the right direction and going in the right direction on market cap. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about Ager Tactics getting added to the Epic store. That's that's well epic. <laughs> also, we're going to talk about uh, Algorand assembly call this week, highlight a little bit of that. Uh, the NFT platform orally going live soon, if not already. Daily active users on the site increasing. We're going to take a look at exactly what that increase is and we're going to talk about a note announcing new features which is by the way maybe a platform you haven't heard of all that on today's frugal bc by the way guys if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button as i always say you don't have to smash it you can just press it gently but we're always bringing you the truth in crypto we don't show we don't fud just tell you the good bad and ugly of everything that's going on try to look at this stuff objectively so you can make an informed decision and uh before we get to our news today we are sponsored by non-fungible domains so if you want that cool dot algo address after your after your name instead of uh, really complicated letters and numbers of your address makes your ad wallet address way easier to remember uh, you can head on over to non-fungible domains they've got also some uh, and they got some features like vaults and segments so be sure to check them out in the description below and we're brought to you by fractal monsters a play to earn game on the algorand blockchain you can play it for free or you can buy nfts and uh, enhance your experience as well as your earning potential and uh, it's basically a mix between pokemon and tamagotchi with a little bit of smash brothers mixed in which is a lot of fun to play so check that out in the description below and on to our video so first I just kind of want to take a little look at the Algorand price because the Algorand price is actually finally going in a direction I think we can all appreciate so let's uh take a look at this yeah so we're up uh three and a half percent over the course of a day sitting at number 51 in market cap that is really awesome to see uh, about 19 and a half cents right now and uh, that's up from yesterday so nice to see that just kind of steadily climbing up at number 51 in market cap so I think a lot of us would love to see Algorand get into the into the top 50 again and maybe stay there where a lot of us were pretty disappointed that it got into the 50s so uh, nice to see it getting close I think it was actually at 50 at one point so we'll see that fluctuate in and out but nice to see it making that difference now, something I really was kind of excited about was to see Ager Tactics making some progress. A lot of the games that I observed when I went to the uh, the Cypher conference at the end of 2022 hadn't really made a ton of progress in a year. And it's nice to see Ager Tactics actually, because I actually played a version of Ager Tactics, so I could actually play it. So it had to be like somewhat close, right? Well, now they're uh, very close to beta and they're actually on the Epic Store. Let's take a look at this. So this comes from Algo. Ager Tactics, a card game built on Algorand, has good news. They've been approved by epic games and they're close to a closed beta so if you have an epic account you can actually add ager tactics to your wish list which helps give it some visibility so this is this is pretty big because i don't know this is probably the highest profile that a game like this has been in the uh in the gaming world so far for algorand so it's really nice to see that uh they got a little disclaimer as you can see it says this is a blockchain nft game and it is going to be on windows so if you're a mac person like me you're kind of left out which is a i'm finding is for a lot of games in general it's kind of surprising considering how ubiquitous the mac ecosystem is uh it is what, especially these smaller game developers, you know, they only got so much space to devote. So I, I, I totally get it. Um, I have, so yeah, I'm thinking about getting a PC just so I can play some of these games that I want to play, uh, just to make it a little bit easier. That's another issue as well, but I like seeing this. I think this is really positive for the, the Algorand ecosystem. So if you go, you can go onto your wish list and check that box and you'll be able to, you know, you can actually check it on your wish list. I, I put it on my wish list, even though I can't play it, but pretty cool to see that anyway. And and a new NFT platform called Orally is set to go live soon. So why don't we take a deeper look at this? That comes from nj.algo. It says uh, it's coming live. Number one marketplace for creatives and built on Algorand. But this also highlights something like I've looked. So I looked through all their. Okay, there's six days to go right now. So that's really that's really great. I got the impression. You get the impression that it has to do with music. Okay, so it's called Orally. So it kind of makes sense. But I have. This is one thing I want to highlight. And this is a message to all people developing projects i've gone through their entire linked tree i can't find one thing that explains what orally is exactly other than it, it's it's like the number one marketplace for creatives well what does a creative mean uh given that it's orally that sounds like it's uh that it has to do with music but i've listened to the explanation i've watched i've tried to like i've gone on their oh do they have discord i mean their medium is blank their youtube has like barely a couple things their instagram doesn't really have much explanation there's nothing here really explains 
explains more deeply what it is. So it's a little bit a little bit frustrating, but uh, always good to see a new project on Algorand and but also a good good message that like guys you gotta like <laughs> You got to market yourself way better than this, okay? Um, it seems to be something that's really unique to the NFT space. Like you'll have this, in, you'll put all this money into this project, all this time and effort into this project, and then it doesn't occur to you that you have to explain basically what your project is and what it does. More than just a one-line little description that doesn't <clears throat> doesn't really differentiate it from any other NFT platform. So you know it's an NFT platform, and I guess we'll check it out when it comes out. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit, it's just something that kind of frustrates me as someone who follows the space and comes in, someone who comes in with kind of an outsider mentality. Like I don't, I don't assume anything in this space. So like you, you should really build this stuff so people can understand it. Something I'm gonna be harping on over and over and over, by the way. And in other news, uh, Algorand's going to have their big assembly call this week. So why don't we why don't we dive into this a little bit here? First Algorand assembly call of 2024 is coming up, and that is Wednesday, 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12:30 where I am. I wish I could cover this and do it live. That'd be a lot of fun. But anyway, the the unfortunately I'll be I'll be busy that day. Uh, that's my one day where I really have zero flexibility. Uh, the team will cover DeFi and NFT rewards programs, alpha on global hackathons and updates on ecosystem growth and governance. So if you're interested in that stuff, this is the place you want to be, Algorand Assembly. We'll probably check it out and do like a highlights video. Like I said, I won't be able to like cover stream it live. It would be fun if I could, but uh, I just simply don't have the ability to do that on Wednesday. If it was on Thursday, I could probably do it, but not Wednesday. So it is what it is, but it looks like a lot of fun. And uh, this is a nice piece of positive news. Some people do accuse me of not putting out any positive news, but I think it's important to be uh, objective and take what comes. So if there's a lot of good, if there's all bad news one week, then that's what we're gonna cover. If there's all good news one week, that's what we're gonna cover too. Uh, in this case, we have some good news. So let's take a look at this. Um, daily active users seem to be on the rise and that is a nice up and to the right chart that's what you like to see and this is going back to october so uh it just keeps going up and it's it's up 2.5x from oh is that true i don't think that 2.5x is accurate because it's gone from 100 percent to oh from six months ago okay well that's that's further than they show in the chart right that's one two three four yeah, okay okay that might be that might be closer to accurate then um not based on what's actually showing on the screen but yeah this is good to see i mean you just want to see more users using a chain it always helps Helps. I think uh, I think things are going to be just a slow grind for Algorand, where Algorand doesn't really rely on a lot of hype. It relies on you know being kind of an enterprise solution as well as just kind of doing the, the boring stuff. And as you know, like like you get attention for yourself by well getting attention for yourself by by being promotional. So it's it's a hard line that Algorand is. I think tr Algorand's trying to shift that balance over a little bit because. I think they I think they realize that they can't just they can't just get by on superior technology alone. Like you have to actually sell yourself too. And I think I think Algorand Algorand's efforts have started to shift in that direction, which is nice to see. See if anyone said anything interesting. Not really. No one really responded much to this, but I think that's good. So anyway, it's good to see that kind of positive news and stuff like that can drive positive sentiment. It's just a matter of, well, unfortunately, <laughs> hype is a big part of the price action. In, in crypto. So if you're worried about price action, which does not mean it's not the end all be all for blockchains, like you can you can enjoy a blockchain and have fun on it and make money in other ways like DeFi and not have to worry about, you know, price going up all the time. But you do need some level of price action as well. So uh, there, there, are two, there are two sides to kind of balance a little bit and something like Solana, you know, I'll buy it in the bear to bump it off in the the uh, in the bull market, but I'm not going to do that for Algorand. Algorand's like my stuff's like pretty much invested. Like I have very little loose Algorand. Anyway, I could go on about that all day, but let's go back to uh, next news item. The last one I want to talk about here is a note, which is a uh, NFT music platform that pays royalties, kind of like uh, kind of like Opulus was, and Opulus moved to. Uh, Boy, what was it? Avalanche did it move to? I can't remember now. They moved to one of those chains, and uh, yeah, I got in, kind of got into a Twitter fight with uh, one of their one of their spokespeople, and that's fine. You can you can uh, I'm gonna call it like it is. You don't have to you don't have to like it. I don't really care because I'm gonna say it. If you if you build your chain on Algorand, take a bunch of money from the foundation, and then you go move to another chain. I don't know. I think that's kind of crappy. If you're gonna like, I think that's a bit, that's fundamentally different than 
going multi-chain. If you're going to go multi-chain, that's cool. I think that's smart. Like we covered folks finance and how they, their roadmap is like super multi-chain, right? But they're not abandoning Algorand. I think that's uh, I think that's a key element. You know, you you know that you got all the support from your Algorand side and they're not folks finance isn't abandoning it. Like I think Opulus did. That's my opinion. But yeah, let's look at a new music because this is one that is building on Algorand and uh, they're introducing their biggest platform update since launch. Discover the new design of our marketplace portfolio and listen sections. Discover our new learn section, understand key concepts while you navigate our platform. Should we look into this a little bit? I don't want to watch, watch their video. Yeah, let's just go take a look at this. Oh, do I have to sign up just to look at it? I hate that. I can't stand that. Just let me look at the darn thing. Maybe I can. Can I just look at it? Oh, that's a, that frustrates the heck out of me. I don't, don't make me sign up before I've even been able to check out what you got going on. Oh boy, I was all ready to be excited about this. And that is just, that is just something that frustrates me. And I see that in, I see that in, you know, web two and web three, where it's like, oh, you can't see a single thing about us until you sign up. Usually though, that's becoming pretty rare. I've noticed like most, most of them, most websites at least let you check out something about their product before this one's like opening the opening uh opening pages yeah sign up through our email no 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 no. show you gotta you gotta do a little sales first don't just you know it's like if you walked in and someone was like hey can i start ringing you up for a phone if you walked into a cell phone salesman you're like no i want to look at phones first um just some basic sales concepts that i think a lot of people need to learn so maybe it's all right let's give them a chance maybe it's not all right, this is, so this is what happens when you hit a note music there's a bunch of stuff that i add algorand to it they have this press dot a note music dot com they have their twitter account yeah that, can, that seems to be the only one that pops up so i guess we'll try that this is just them being featured on bbc news what happens if i just go to the main this just let me go to the main page well this is all in crypto so this isn't even their site okay well i tried let's see it go there's got to be like some kind of uh some business maybe maybe that's something algorand should invest in like some basic business mentorship because like a lot of these companies just seem to fail at really basic business functions that a lot of normal companies you just wouldn't see happen. I don't know if they're just not getting, if they're just not getting this from their VCs or whatever, but a lot of this stuff just needs major improvement. So, all right, I'm enough. It's enough of my venting, my frustrating. We've at least got some good news. Uh, you know, seeing the daily users go up. We're also seeing transactions go up a lot, by the way. Um, I know a lot of like a sob pay has seen an enormous amount of growth as has the uh travel x you know the nft airline tickets that's been skyrocketing so good stuff happening i don't uh, let's end on a good note uh so very good stuff happening in the algorand ecosystem nice to see the price going in the right direction finally again and uh also with the market cap going in the right direction so anyway i'd love to hear what you guys have to think have to say uh leave a comment below what do you like what don't you like and uh stay safe out there i'm frugal bc and i will see you in the future.